Hello everybody. Thank you for joining me today. This is Lori from Art Lore. I'm in my blow dryer here. So, hello. Okay, so um, today we're going to do an 18 by 24 gallery wrap canvas that I get at Michael's. And we're going to use up all the colors that I um, have made with the previous, with the previous canvases. Some of these I do know and some I don't because they've been sitting for a little bit, but I want to use them all up and I'm going away and on vacation with my hubby and I didn't want to, I didn't want them to be wasted. So I'm just going to do all those colors on one canvas and I may do, um, it's an 18 by 24, so I'm going to try to get five blooms on here. We're going to see how that goes and um, yes and now today what I'm going to do is um, put them closer together in the center Oop. and <clears throat> I tend to blow them out when I'm using the blow dryer I'm gonna put my pillow down while we're talking and I blow them out the petals out too far then when I spin, then they go even further yet, which you want, but I do want to have just a little bit of negative space. So I'm gonna try not to blow them out as far and let the gravity pull, and let's see what kind of color that we can get with, um, with that effect and see if how far the color stretches, if it does stretch, if it stretches too much, and if it doesn't stretch enough. And then today I also am going to give it a whirl with my paints. Um, they were a little thin, I think, last time. And my center was just a little bit wobbly. And it actually turned out pretty good. I, um, I'll go grab it and show you um, how it looked. Uh, it, it's not as bad as what I thought. Let me wipe my hands off so I don't want to get paint on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here it is. See, they got a little bit wobbly in here. I hope you can see, I hope you're in frame right through there. Just a little bit wobbly, but for the most part, I think it's absolutely beautiful. And actually this piece did sell, so I'm very happy about that. But it has to cure a little bit longer. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a finish on it, a satin finish. And yeah. So today we're going to try for that same effect, but without the wibble wobble in the center. So I've got them a little thicker. We'll see, and it might be my cell activator. I'm leaving that the same because it's been sitting for a few days. So we'll see about that. And of course my base pillow is, um, not my base, but my pillow is the PPG Multi Pro. It's the interior, it's the eggshell, and it's the 47-3110. Get it at Home Depot. Uh, colors, sage green. This is a really pretty sage green, and it is a little bit thick, so I think I may have to add um, a little bit of, I use the polycrylic Minwax with the <laughs> Bear 8300, also at Home Depot. And uh, I know that Lisa Marvin came up with the Jowa for the Josenia and the water to thin things down. So I'm just gonna call mine the Paliwa. And there, that's better. And the this one was a custom color. And I'll put it in the description. I don't know what my custom colors were now, but I will put that in the description. And then I have a pale green. That was also a custom color, and that was real pretty. That's a little bit thick, too. 
And then, let's see here. Oh, coral, the coral one. That was custom also. And what I did for this, it was, all I did was white and then I did red ochre. And I mean less than a pea size of the red ochre. And it came up with this really pretty coral. So that was a fun color. And then let's see here. Um, well, of course, nickel as a gold. My yummalicious color. Love this color. Ah, so beautiful. It's like a chameleon color. It goes with everything. And this purple, I have no clue. I really and truly don't have a clue what it is, but I've got a lot of it left, so I'm going to try and use quite a bit of this. And I have no idea what this one is. I'm just going to mix these all together, throw them in there, just see what we can come up with. But I just thought I would just get rid of what I have and then start over when I come back. And this color too. They're all very close in, uh, boy, that's thick. They're all real close in tone and, and uh, we'll just put a little dot here and a little dot there and it'll all be good. So what I'm going to do now, and of course my cell activator is the Aussie Flow Troll three to one and my pouring medium is the Poly and the, and the Bear. And the Bear, let's see, I do two parts Bear, one part Polycrylic. And I like to take one part of the Bear and add the Polycrylic and stir it all up. Then I add the second part of the Bear and then stir that all up so that it's not so thick and chunky when you're trying to mix it all together. It just seems like it just mixes up a little bit better. So I'm going to put my little ponytail in, my, as my sister would say, the Kim Wexler ponytail. I don't know if you guys ever watch Better Call Saul, but Kim Wexler always had her tight, cute ponytail in. All right, and I'm going to get you down closer to the canvas so you don't have to look at me. And I'm sorry for the wibble wobble here, but if anybody knows how to pause on an iPhone, that would be wonderful if you could tell me because I really don't think there, I, I know there isn't a pause button. Why? I have no clue. I just think that's really weird. So sorry. I'm so, so sorry. But I need, I need better equipment. And like I said, I'm starting out. So you got to give me a break. I'm not advanced. And I am very, very, very electronically challenged. So I know you're wiggling. Pull you over a little bit. I'm going to do this ever so slowly just pull the whole ladder over i'm getting an ipod i mean an ipad oh my gosh a tripod Jeez, it's late and i need to go to bed okay there we go all right we'll get some gloves on and start blooming so let's make a mess Yes, we're going on vacation tomorrow, and I hate going on vacation until I'm sitting on the plane. Then I'm fine. Once I'm on the plane, I'm okay. But until then, I'm a wreck. But I wanted to paint one last time before I was before I left. So here we go. All right, let's try this out here. Okay, I want to get rid of a lot of this purple. Yep, we're gonna just thin that out just a scant more. And I'm not going to start directly in the center like I usually do. Because since I want to do five, and I don't want them even, I'm going to put you right there. One, two, three, four, and five. We shall see. 
So I am going to one, two, three. So we'll start right here. And it might not even be five. Maybe it'll end up being four. We'll see. But I'm really going to try hard not to push this paint too far with the blow dryer. All right, let's do this really pretty light green. And I might not put all the colors in all, you know, one whole bloom. We'll just kind of jazz it up a little bit. Go away, bubbles from the Paliwa. All right. If you haven't seen Lisa Marvin, any of her videos, you need to check them out because she is a fantastic artist and she's a hoot. She's really funny. Um, let's put, I need a stick. Let's put this color in. That looks like it might be quite pretty. Okay, and my Azo Gold. Um, yeah. Can't have enough of that. That's all I've got to say. Okay. Oh, and then my blow dryer. It's really cool. If you know of somebody who, um, like your hairdresser, this is a Paul Mitchell. It's a professional blow dryer, and it's a Pro Tools Paul Mitchell, and it's Express Ion Turbo Light Plus. What I love about it is it actually has five different speeds. The cool shot, you can press it, and it just stays right on. And it's got the hot and the cold, or the, the low. Yeah, it's got the warm and the hot, but it has different speeds for the fan, which is really cool. It's not, you don't want the same speed. Most... Most blow dryers only have the two speeds, maybe three if you're lucky. So, okay, here we go. Oh, that's a lot of paint. We shall see. Okay. Move you out of the way. I'm going to turn it. Whoops, I keep putting my paints in the way. Move you this way, and then we're going to go. I, I'm going to go medium fan. And cool air, obviously, and medium fan. And sorry for the noise. It won't be long. Sometimes I don't. We'll see. Okay, another one. We'll see what happens. And put another. The colors are pretty. I hope this comes up. I might have to do a couple little puffies in there. All right, we're going to put another one right here. This time I'm going to add the sage green. This one, the smoky green first, then my coral. That sage green does take over pretty good. And I'll, I'll list everything in the link in the description below. I don't know if I said that earlier or not, but I'll, I'll list what colors I use to make the actual colors. There, that's all I'm putting. 
And I think I want to do one, this pretty violet color. I don't even know what this is, but it's so pretty with that green. Okay. And then, of course, my Enzo. I'm going to get this guy a little puff here. And we'll see what happens. I'm going to add just a little bit of pillow right here. I was really terrified that we weren't going to be getting out of Grand Rapids. We had a massive storm, slipping, sliding everywhere, and I had to drive around in it, ugh. Okay, so activator, what do I say? Well, that's selling up nicely, but oh my gosh, I really gooped up with the black there. I'm going to have to take some of that out of there. Okay, here we go. Okay, definitely one here. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna do another purple one. I hope this works better. My paints are thicker and so that I don't get those squiggly lines. That would really be nice for my cells in the center. For some reason, they're just so wonky. I don't know what is going on, what I'm doing wrong, but I'm going to try this and see what happens. I love this pillow though, that is for sure. Okay. I left out the sage this time. Now that sounds up way better. Not as nice as, this one is way nicer than that one. I don't like that at all. So I may have to try and pull some of that out of there without ruining it. Okay. And I don't think, I, maybe I didn't have my fan up a little bit high enough either. We'll see.
not doing as great as I'd like to today. this at all. Let's see if I can get some of that out of there. Without ruining it. A lot of black. And now a lot of white. Oh my goodness. We shall see what that does. too worried about that one so much because that's probably just going to come off anyway so that's not like a whole massive issue for me but um I'm actually going to make sure that it comes off because it's not selling up and we'll just get rid of it and leave the petals I might actually just Even though it's white, it'll be okay. It's better than the wonkiness that it had going on there. All right, so this one's we're going to start with the sage. It's looking like it might only take four blooms, and I have to get over that because I don't like to do things in um, equal, uh, even numbers. Oh, those two colors are so pretty together. All right. Coral, and then we're going to do a little bit of the light green, that smoky green. And then cell activator. Okay, all right, here we go. Hey, look at that poor sad thing. I 
don't know. Maybe it'll be okay. You know, it'd be really nice is that this ugly part would come off and this part here where the cells are would stay just in the corner. That would be the ultimate. All right, so now I have four. So do I want to do one here and one here? Because I want it to be quite bloomy. And there will maybe be some negative space there and some there. I think I'm going to add a little bit of paint here and do a bloom. A small one. There. And let's see. Let's see. We started out with purple with that one, I think. Let's start with the sage. And then I'm going to go with this light, the lighter violet. The coral, and I think we have enough green going on. Um, I think I'm just going to do the azo and then the cell. I might regret it, but we shall see. Whoops, I, oh my god. I almost drizzled that all over the whole entire thing. Okay, pay attention. I'll put just a little bit of paint right here. Just in case I go over a little bit more in the corner. There we go. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have five. I can count. All right, so now what we're going to do is reinforce the edge portion so that we know it's going to spin off. And that's the fun part. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And then I'm going to move my paints out of the way a little bit. Actually, I cover them up. Because these are actually, I don't know if I feel like doing one more after this, but we'll see. Okay, there we go. We actually had sun today, which was like a huge shot of penicillin. Oh my gosh. I'm like, seriously, we have not seen the sun in days. There. There, that will help to pull those petals off. 
Okay. Here's my trusty board. I'm gonna move everything off to the side here a little bit. Just like that, and then I cover them up so they don't get pillow paint in them. All right. The moment of truth. Here we go. I'm going to give it a spin, a spinner rooney. Okay, so we have to pray that that goes off. Let's give it a, 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 a spin. I can't even talk. It's wonky. It's better, getting better. Whoop. Thank God that wasn't the canvas. It was the board the canvas is on. Hmm. I'm not wild about this. It's got to go. Same with the one over there. Okay, it's leaving. That's a good thing. Let's keep going. Got to keep coming. We got a lot of paint on there still, and I'd like to try and get that off the edge. Getting there, slow but sure. much better. Now if I can just get rid of this, because this is all coming off, 
that up there is going. If I could just get this bloom here, what? The, oh, I'm dripping. That bloom right there over more. We almost would have it be a slam dunk. Right. Okay, let's do it again. Mm-hmm, coming off, that's a good thing. I'm gonna really spin it, see what happens. Almost going to scrape it. Not exactly totally thrilled with it. Oh, that's much better. Yes. Way better. I just want, I think I want a little bit more of that off. And if I can get a little bit more of that off, so I'm gonna spin it again. Then I'm gonna measure the depth in the center. Now it's not so bad because that, that stuff was wonky. I'm wondering, I, don't, I have got to figure this out, why they are wonky. I'm gonna have to give Miss Karen from Waterfall Acrylics, that's who I take my lessons from. I'm going to have to ask her opinion. And maybe I need one more lesson. They do help. They do help. Yeah, that's way better. Got that yucky stuff off. Okay, much better. There, I'm not so disappointed now. I'm not super duper thrilled with this, but it's better with just that one wonky one on there than three or four wonky ones. Oh, that's a lot of paint, man. Okay. Colors are pretty, I have to say that. So at least I get two points for the colors. All right, where is my skewer? Right here. Yep. It's good. Very, very good. See, I just, I don't understand that. I don't know if it was, maybe it's stuck. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's stuck to the canvas from me blowing and puffing. Maybe I'm puffing too hard and it's sticking too much in the center. And then when I spin it, the paint doesn't flow. Hmm, maybe it's that. Anyway, it's not bad for a, you know, for a contemporary deconstructed looking bloom. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll trash it. I think it's a smash. I think I smashed it, somewhat smashed it, halfway smashed it, but they don't have to trash it. So, here's the bubble. Oh. That was not a bubble. That was a imperfection. Glad I got that. Oh dear. I have my pajamas on, the bottoms. 
even though they're full of paint, I really don't want more paint on there, but I just leaned it up. Oh well. Okay, I think it's pretty. All right, I'll fix up my sides if I have to later. Pop some bubbles and then put this in its little cage to dry. And let's hope it dries nice. Let's hope the drying gods are with me. I'm going to take you down and let you see the pretty colors. Bear with me here. All right. They are quite pretty, sorry for the glare. That sage green and the purples just look so pretty with that azo gold. Yum, delicious. See, that's just kind of wonky, but I guess it's okay. I mean, when I look at it tomorrow, it'll probably look better to me. But see, I'm really glad that that went off. And that, that petal is really pretty. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty nice. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you all have a good day, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Thank you again, and we will see you the next time.